and new information this morning from the CDC involving how you should clean your surfaces to prevent the spread of the virus. Liza Lucas walking us through the new developments and Liza, what can we use to get rid of the germs? Has anything really changed here from the last guidance we got sometime last year? Well, I think that the guidance that we tend to see about fogging buildings, well, they're really reserving that for certain circumstances. Good old fashioned soap and water is really what you need to be using when it comes to cleaning your home and those surfaces. That's according to the new guidance coming down from the CDC. And we've talked about over the course of the pandemic, the science showing that you can get infected from touching a contaminated surface, but that risk overall is low. And then when it comes to this new guidance, again, soap and water, cleaning with soap or detergent, it really works according to this new research. The CDC, the head of the CDC is saying that disinfecting and using these harsh chemicals should really only be recommended in certain situations. And that is when someone has a confirmed case of COVID-19 or suspected case of COVID-19 and they've been within a space in the past 24 hours. That's when those harsher chemicals would really come into play. So how often do you need to be cleaning? Do you need to be doing it? all around the clock. Well, no, according to the CDC, really once a day is what it takes for most services to remove the virus. Now, more frequently, if you have very high traffic areas or maybe kids touching a lot of surfaces, or if you're in a case where people are not wearing their mask or they've got a lot of um, instances where people aren't covering their coughs or sneezes, then you might want to amp up your cleaning efforts. But the CDC is saying really soap and water once a day for most surfaces. That's going to do the trick, Sheba. Got it. Soap and water. All right. And not too expensive either. Our covered coverage continues online at 11alive.com. You'll be able to find more in-depth coverage information about the double mutant variant and the new cleaning guidelines from the CDC.